In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a username checker um, that checks the username is available um, as it's being typed into a form field. So as you can see here, I've got a form field here with username and the field that we're going to type a username into. Then what we've got here is a status message which is going to tell us to either choose a username. If the username is still too short, so we're going to have some uh, checks on that to check if it's too short or not. And then it's going to tell us if the username is available or unavailable. Now what I've done is I've set up a database just called My Database. I've got a table called Users which you would usually find um, this sort of content inside a Users um, table. I've got the username that's already registered which is PHP Academy, a password and some other information. Now the only field that we're going to be focusing on in this tutorial is the username field because we're going to automatically match up what's typed in here to this value here or the value in however many rows you have in your uh, database and we're going to tell we're going to match this up and tell the user if the username is available or not so the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and type in start typing a username now say if I want to type a three character username that's PHP you can see it's told me that it's too short now in this example the minimum amount is three so you have to have more than three um, characters in your username for it to be accepted so if I now type Alex we've been given a message saying available this is because the username Alex doesn't exist in our database at the moment so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in PHP Academy you can see it's already told me that it's available but as we get to the point where we type PHP Academy it tells us that the uh, username is not available because it already exists um, inside this table okay so that's basically how it works and we can start writing the code now okay so just a quick note before we start typing uh, anything out this tutorial is being created for example purposes only so to incorporate this into your own um, actual form where you're typing out all data obviously this is only taking into account the username you'll obviously have to make some changes now what we're using is index.php and check.php index.php is going to be our interface so the form um, the username field everything like that and then check.php is going to be called by jQuery and it's going to automatically check return the data and then display it back in uh, index.php so the first thing we want to do is set up our HTML tags and then our head tags head is where we're going to include the um, jQuery file and also um, the body tags which are, we're going to include all of our um, body information in so the uh, form itself so the first thing we want to do is include um, jQuery. Now you can download jQuery from jQuery.com, and all you need to do is put it in the same, put the file in the same folder um, that you're working with. Um, this will just allow us to um, call the check.php without refreshing the page. So type equals text slash JavaScript, and what we're going to do here is we're going to um, say the source is jQuery.js. That's just um, how I've saved my j uh, jQuery file. And then we're going to end the script there. So we don't need anything in between here. This is just including this script so we can use it in the rest of our page. So now we also need to set up another um, another script area for us to enter. Um, the rest of our code that we're going to be using our JavaScript code and we're going to be using calling jQuery in this because we've already included it we can call it straight in here as well okay so to set up our form um, I'm just basically going to set up a form with the name of form so we can keep it nice and simple okay we can end our form there okay so inside here we want to um, put username label and then we're going to break down and we're going to say input type equals text because we're entering text data let's just go back to our browser and check that out for now okay so we can see we've got username and then where we're going to type our information in so obviously nothing works at the moment 
Um, we're going to give this an ID, and I'm going to call this username underscore input. And then I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to say username. The reason I'm calling this username input is just to distinguish between this, um, the ID of this, and the uh, name of this. Uh, and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to enclose the in fact what we're going to do is sorry come down here and we're going to create a new div and this is going to have the ID of feedback so we can address this and then put some feedback inside there now nothing needs to go in here right now um, because what we're going to do is we're going to use jQuery to put data um, into this feedback and that data is going to come from check.php so as you can see at the moment if I leave this in here at the moment you can see that we actually get um, that data out inside that div. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is put this further up so it's just underneath the uh, form field and to do that we're going to use some uh, CSS. So we're going to type style equals oops, style type equals text forward slash CSS and end that style tag and inside we're going to use hash and then feedback this hash identifies this as a div, so we're formatting this div. And all I'm going to do is say line hyphen height and then naught px. So basically, now when we refresh this, this has gone further up. So that's just a bit of styling just to make everything look um, a bit nicer. So we've styled this div here. Um, we can take out this text. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to start writing my jQuery. Now what we f first of all need to do is create a um, sort of like a document um, area where we or rather we're going to call when the document is ready we're going to start a function. So as soon as the document is ready we're typing dollar sign and then document in brackets and then we're going to type ready and then again in brackets we're going to type function and then two brackets there and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up a curly bracket we're going to come down and end that curly bracket so we've still got this and this here is where this started and then we're using a line terminator which is a semicolon to end that so basically what we've got here let's align this up so we can uh, see it better is we're saying when the document is ready start a function and then we're going to uh, everything in here is going to be when the document is actually ready so the first thing we need to do is we need to load check.php up here into the document um, or into the feedback div rather down here and we're going to do this by dollar sign and then in brackets we're going to um, have hash feedback and remember hash to identify it's a div I'm going to say dot load and then in brackets we're going to say check dot php and then we're going to say dot show to make sure this is shown to the user we don't need this because we haven't originally hidden um, the div but we're just using show um, just I'm going to show you just to show you a function really so if this is successful then the contents of check dot php up here which is nothing at the moment should be put directly into the feedback div. So we'll give that a go. We'll just enter some dummy data into here. Oh, dummy data. And then we'll open up our browser. I'm going to refresh here. And you can see that it says dummy data. Now, nowhere on our index.php do we have dummy data. So basically, what we've essentially done is included the contents of check.php into our div using uh, jQuery. And the reason this is useful is we can, on the fly, we can check for this username and put the uh, results from check.php, which is going to check our username, straight back into the uh, feedback div without refreshing. So I'm going to take away this. And what we're going to do now is we're using the key up um, method. And this is going to allow us to say when a key is pressed or when a key comes up, so it's pressed and then when it comes up, we're going to create a new function. And to do this, we're going to use dollar again. And this time we're saying hash user name underscore input. Now remember what we did here is what we wrote here. 
So we've identified this as username underscore input and that is the input field itself. So this is the user input field itself and what we can do is we can then say what we want to do um, with this method. So we're using key up and then function again like we did up here. We're going to open up a curly bracket, come down and close it and then pop a line terminator on here. So basically when we have a key up um, event inside here we're going to um, execute or rather put forward some um, results. So for now what I'm going to do for testing purposes is I'm going to say dollar hash feedback dot append um, and then we're just going to choose something to append with. So I'm going to choose um, the character A. And then remember to terminate that with a line terminator. So let me just run through this. We've run the uh, we've sorry the de document is ready. We've loaded check.php into the feedback um, div. Then what we're doing is we're checking the username input, which is here, which is this uh, input type. And when a key up happens, we're going to run a function, uh, which is sort of like empty at the moment and we're going to append the character A to the feedback div. So let's check this. Nothing's displayed at the moment because there's nothing inside our check.php file but like I said before for testing purposes when we type something whatever it may be and I'm even pressing backspace and it's appending an A so we can type absolutely anything and you can see that as we do this we're appending an A onto this um, or rather into this um, feedback div. So obviously this function is useless to us, we don't need this, but what we are going to do is we're going to run a post and we're going to post data to check.php to allow us to check and then feed us back the results. And like you've seen here, we've appended A's in here. Instead of appending A's, we're going to feed back the results from our check.php file. So to do this, we're going to say $.post and this is going to allow us to post data to a specific file contained within here and obviously this is going to be check.php because we're using PHP code inside that to um, check our username. And I'm going to have a comma, remember inside the uh, rounded brackets and then we're going to have um, an opening closing curly brackets and we're going to put, put forward um, our post data. So I'm going to call this username. Now this is the, method, uh, this is the variable that we're going to be passing to check.php and now after the um, colon we need the um, value of this and if you we come back down again remember we've called our form form so we're going to use form value of username so basically to do this we just write form dot username dot value and that's going to grab the value of the um, text field called username inside the form called form so it's pretty simple um, the next thing we want to do is un after the curly bracket we need another comma and we're going to come down and we're going to type function and this time inside the um, rounded brackets we're going to type result and this is going to put forward the result that comes from uh, check.php okay so after this we need more more curly brackets and then we're going to end that there so this in in itself is the post um, the post function within jQuery and what we're doing now is we need to echo out the results from feedback or rather put into the div the results from feedback so hash feedback and then it's dot HTML now what this does is it just basically changes the whole structure of the div and puts in the um, code we want so this is going to be result remember up here this is what has been returned and then we're saying dot show. So what can we do this with this now? How can we test this? Now the best way to think about this is we've put forward the username um, into check.php and we're going to grab the username inside check.php and later perform some checks on it. But first what I want to do is I want to display what the user has exactly typed as they're typing it. So because we're grabbing the result from um, check.php and we're like putting it out into the uh, feedback div, we can simply 
open up some PHP tags and the way this username variable here works is exactly the same as you would use the post inside PHP so all we need to do is we need to say username equals dollar underscore post username and this value here this uh, variable name here username is what matches this here so regardless of what I've called this here this is what we're looking at and this is um, how we're putting it forward to this file so what I can simply do here is in front of username I can echo it out so what's going to happen is as we have a key up we're going to run this function here and we're going to post what we've typed into the form to check.php using this variable and then the result of what comes out from check.php i.e. we've echoed out what the user has typed in is going to be displayed in feedback using the HTML and then we're obviously using this HTML part here to put in the result which is here. So it seems complicated but if you have a look at it you'll uh, eventually understand how all this works together. So let's give this a try or we'll refresh and as I start typing you can see that everything is being echoed out rather that's my surname so everything that we type in and everything that we backspace it's just mimicking it at the moment okay so you can see eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna inside out check.php file we're gonna check this against some values in the database and as it's being typed as each character is being typed it can perform that check so inside check.php we'll get rid of this because we don't want to echo this out to the user at the moment the first thing that we want to do is connect to our database now if we look up here um, I've got my database called my database and I've got a table called users and then inside this table called users I've got this value here with PHP Academy as the username so as I'm as I'm um, running through this you can incorporate this into your own database that might already exist so obviously your database is going to look look a lot different from mine this is just example data in here um, there's no login or register function included in this this is just a database I've created for the tutorial purposes so obviously like I said before the username um, field is the one the only one that we're going to be dealing with so I've just put this in to make it look a bit more re more realistic so if we come back to our um, check.php, um, we're going to connect to our database. So it's localhost, root, and I don't have a password on this. And then we're going to select the database. So the database is called my database, which is shown here. Um, and then what we need to do is grab the username. So that's the next thing we need to do. And we need to incorporate some security in this to ensure, um, well, help prevent against um, MySQL injection, or SQL injection rather. So we're going to use my, MySQL real escape string. And that's um, included um, inside um, some curly brackets, the posted username. So everything works. Um, well, let's just test that. Yeah, nothing's happening, which it shouldn't do because we haven't echoed anything out. Um, now, the next thing that we need to do um, is we need to run the um, SQL query to select um, our username from the database, and we need to check if it actually exists. So, what we're doing now is we're I'm going to create a variable called check, and this is my SQL query, and then the query goes something like this: it's select username from users so we're selecting the username field from the table users like I've got just here this is the table and this is the field name and then we're saying where username equals username so this is a unique um, SQL query so we're only selecting um, the record where the username equals username, which is unique in itself anyway, because we're not letting users register 
the uh, username a username if it already exists. So we've performed this query. Now what we need to do is find out the amount of rows that um, have been returned. So I'm going to say check num rows equals mysql num rows. This is going to tell us how many rows have been returned from this query. And it's either in this case going to be one or zero because as we type, it's either going to match PHP Academy or it's not going to match PHP Academy. Um, it may be the username may be Alex, in which case we're, we're going to return um, a, um, a zero rows because the username doesn't exist. Or if we do type PHP Academy, we're going to return one row because we've selected this row where the username equals PHP Academy. And this is check. So we're taking this here, putting it into here, and getting the number of rows. Now what we can do is echo out the number of rows just for testing purposes as we go along. So let's refresh this page. Okay, so it says zero at the moment. I'm gonna type Alex, still zero. So presum presumably there's been no rows returned, which means this username is available. Now if I go ahead and type PHP Academy, this changes to one. So we've returned one row. So now you can see how easy it's going to be for us to um, use an if statement to check if the uh, number of rows is one, then we can echo out to the user, sorry, this username's not available. If we have a return value of zero, we're going to say this username is available because no rows have been returned with that username. So let's get rid of echo. Now, before we do the checking of whether the username is available or not, what we want to do is we want to check um, if the username has been typed in um, and if the username is of um, a high enough character amount for us to proceed. So you can add your own checks in here um, as you like. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if username equals equals null. So if it doesn't equal anything really, then we're going to echo out, choose a username. So we can test this right now. Let's refresh. It says choose a username. As soon as I start typing something, that disappears. So you can see that it's automatically checking that without refreshing it. And then we're going to say else if um, strlen, which is a function within PHP, and it stands for string length. And we're going to check the string length of username. And we're going to say if this is smaller than three, echo two short. We can just say two short without an explanation mark. So um, we can check this now. We can run this code. Press F5 to refresh. A L E. Oh, no. Okay. So equal to three. So if it's smaller than or equal to three, our minimum is three. So let's refresh and try that again. So it's A L E, that's too short. As soon as I type X in, nothing happens, which means that we're not returning the too short error message. Let's go back again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to say else. I'm going to open up a block just to make this simpler to, um, a bit easier to read. And I'm, we're going to say if check num rows equals zero. Now remember, zero is returned if the username is available because we haven't returned any rows where this condition is met here. So we're going to type echo available. Then else if check num rows equals equals one then we can echo out not available okay so that's pretty much it for um, inside here let's go back to our um, page and refresh okay so I'm going to type in, well, it's given us the message choose a username first of all. I'm going to start typing, saying it's too short. And then as we press X, it says available. The username Alex is available. So I can type anything in and it will say available. Now, if we were to start typing PHP Academy, 
So obviously this is available as it stands, but as soon as we get to PHP Academy, it says not available. Okay, so that's how you would um, automatically check um, whether a username is available without refreshing the page um, using jQuery. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. It would be a great help. Um, and I hope this was a great help to some of you. So thank you very much. See you in another tutorial.